Okay, so, so now that's an option we have, right? Um, but what I'm actually gonna do, like I mentioned earlier, is I'm gonna place my foot on his hip, toes facing out, heel facing in. And what I wanna do is just kinda put, pick up my hips and again, just put some pressure on him. I'm trying to put his weight on his back leg. And I just wanna make him feel a little off balance, a little uncomfortable. I want him to decide to clear my foot off his hip. It's never good uh, for the top person to allow the feet to be on your hips. I have a lot of control with the feet on the hips. I can push and pull and, and, and he's not gonna be able to close the distance. Um, you never really, you never want feet on your hips if you're the standing or top opponent, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put my foot there. I want him to push it off. I'm just gonna put that pressure onto him so that he reacts and he throws the foot off. All right, and as soon as he does that, I, I was waiting for it, this leg swings around and I'm gonna chop him right in the back of the knee. Bop. Like an ax kick with your heel right in the back of the knee. And I want my quadricep to fall down right around his ankle so that when I do chop this leg, I'm gonna trap his foot into a, in like a calf slice, okay? And the first thing I'm gonna try to do as soon as I chop that leg is I'm gonna try to hook it under my knee and make a figure four, okay? And this, this foot is just gonna try to hook onto his hip, okay? So one thing that's super important is that I open my knee, okay? And I'm gonna open it. And so it's impossible for him to turn into me now. Try to turn to your right. Yeah, for two reasons. One, my foot is hooking his hip. So his hip uh, turning ability is limited. And second, I'm opening my knee. So if he does turn into me, he's actually putting some really terrible, awkward pressure on his own knee. It makes sense for him to turn the other way, right? And we'll talk about that next. That's the next, the next uh, sequence. But what I want to mention is that if I don't open my knee, let's say I keep it over here, he could, yeah, stand up so they can see. But yeah, he could turn his knee into me and just basically smash me. Okay, so it's a really, really bad idea to stay here on your side with your knees pointed behind him. We definitely want to open that knee as soon as possible. Even if we can't maintain the figure four, we don't actually need, I don't need, uh, I don't need my ankle to connect to my knee, right? They can be disconnected, it's fine. The most important thing is that we open that knee, okay? And then basically make it impossible for him to turn to his right. I'm gonna anticipate him turning to his left because that just makes sense. He has two options essentially, or three maybe. Uh, go nowhere and do nothing. That's one option, it's not a good idea. Uh, two, he might try to run away, and that's what we have to be ready for. That's kind of also why I like this, uh, my left foot is hooking his hip, so that if he does try to run away, go ahead, I'll go with him. The other thing I'm doing is I'm hooking his heel with my hand right here on my hip. Okay, so those are pretty much my only two points of contact. Um, so I'm just kind of hold on to his heel, so if he does try to run away. And then the last option is he puts his hands and knee on the mat and back steps. Okay, we'll talk about that next, okay? So for right now, let's just work on the chop, the figure four, and then I would say let's, let's have the opponent try to run away so that we can try to hold on to them, okay? So again, wait, wait. Play the daily heel first, okay? I put the foot on his hip and I'm gonna push on him. I'm gonna push on, I'm gonna try to pick his foot, his front leg up off the mat actually. I'm gonna try to put all his weight on his back leg so he really doesn't like it. As soon as he clears the foot off the hip, our right leg comes around and chops. Just your heel on the back of his knee, not your calf, okay? That's not gonna work. We want just the heel or the Achilles tendon chopping on the back of his knee. We figure four, okay? Um, can you just go uh, plant your hands on the mat just so I can, and you guys see, look, I'm gonna hold his heel like this. Okay, so I was holding like this, and then I'm, his foot will rotate. We're just gonna hold on to it here. So now if he tries to run away, he can't. Uh, and if he doesn't do a good job, I can try to sit up and body lock him and then we have a really nasty calf slice. Um, and we could also work our way onto his back if we want, okay? So again, one more time. Put some pressure on him first so that he has to, re he has to react, okay? As soon as the foot comes off the hip, the leg drops, this one swings around, chop. 
figure four, hook the hip, hold the ankle. He's gonna try to run away. We hold on to him. Maybe we can put some pressure so he puts his knee down. I would try to sit up, try to grab his body if we can. This is always a good thing to do. Um, yeah, but probably what's gonna happen if he's a very good grappler, he's gonna back step, okay? So we'll talk about that next, okay? So let's pretend he's not a good grappler right now and he tries to run away. One, two, three.